You know, being a pro, you got to become the same guy every day. It's got to be, it, ha it has to be you. You can't fake it. It has to be genuine. You got you to gotta love this game because if you don't love it, you you'll find out quick that you won't be here long. Dayton Jones says in high school, he was a skinny 170 pounder but building up to his current 285 was just one of the challenges he faced. Compton is, for me, it was, it was a wonderful place to grow up. At the same time, you know, I've seen a lot of stuff growing up. It was, it was, it was a I had a tough upbringing, but my mom, I had a great mom and a, a great family support system. Uh, I didn't have a father figure, but my mom was very strong and uh, she, she, was, she was very disciplined in my household. And, uh, she, she kept everyone accountable, a lot of my friends, joint gang, got into drugs, you know, but I had an older brother who kept me, you know, kept me on a positive note, and uh, I was more scared of him than anything, and he pretty much kept me grounded. Another challenge for Dayton, one that he has apparently used to his advantage, is extreme competitiveness in everything. I was over competitive in the classroom, off the field, uh, so when I wasn't able to complete something, I just get so frustrated and drive myself crazy about completing it. Dayton says Compton High School was a good school to attend. He gives a lot of credit to his algebra teacher, who served as tutor and mentor to a lot of kids. Jones now hopes kids back home are inspired by seeing the level he has attained. The biggest accomplishment is uh, being a first round draft pick. The motivation I gave the kids back home, uh, pretty much all the kids, that's growing up in the same situation that I grew up in. That was probably my biggest accomplishment that, knowing that I, I actually got here, you know, means of kids, this is their main objective, just to get to the level that I'm at. And uh, I achieved my goal and uh, it was nothing else like it.